some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have a pair of dimwit frauditors who think they know the law. Well, what else is new? As a result of their egregious cognitive dissonance, they think they can just roam around a prison at will. Well, today, J-Town Press and Georgia Transparency are about to find out otherwise. So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. As you can see back over here, we are at uh, Coastal State Prison here in Savannah, Georgia, doing a little revisit. I'm here today with Mr. Georgia Transparency. What up? Yeah. So we're going to do a little revisit and go check it out. You know, I've been seeing the two of you together a lot lately. Have you two become an item? If that's the case, I'm sure you two make a great couple. Nice power couple within the frauditor community. And as far as you, Russell, goes, I'm happy you found love after you lost your uh, job as a private eye. The couple who fraud us together gets arrested together. How sweet. As we shall soon see. Many unbearable hours later. He's coming quick. Yeah. How you doing? See what happens here, everybody. Stand by. As y'all can get uh, yeah, the yeah, tag number GV6703. F is in Foxtrot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it does say Monroe. Well, it says Department of Georgia, so it could be any county. I guess they can register it in. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. What's your name, ma'am? Are you a are you a deputy or what are you? What well, what's your name, ma'am? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is this uh is this private property? Yes. It's not owned by the state. Oh it's is this oh, a it's state property. Uh, but it's state property. Okay, y'all y'all do open are y'all subject to open records request laws? Oh. Did you get her name? No, she won't give it to me. That's okay. Yeah. Will you give me your name? I, your personnel I mean you're man. yeah. So I right, we got a good picture of your face for we'll, for you, and they'll give it to us. Alright, so it's actually, actually a nice facility. Oh yeah. How is it so nice? Are you just admiring the exterior of your future accommodations? Well, I'll tell you something. The inside is not so nice, but I'm sure you can meet up with Bubba once you get in there and he can give you a tour of the facility and how things work. Show you the ropes, you know, so you can understand where to go and where not to go. Not too bad. Let's see, welcome in everybody. We're here at the uh, Coastal State Prison here in Savannah, Georgia. And uh, they're already sitting there causing a fuss and uh, trying to, I believe so. It sounds like a train, yeah. I would safely say it's a, it sounds like an engine of some sort. Y'all can probably hear that in the background. So welcome everybody, welcome everybody. Make sure you smash that like, uh, like button. Oh, you're so worried about them pressing the like button. You shouldn't be worried about that because you're about to get a shiny new pair of bracelets. So let's skip ahead to that. The guard line, y'all are in violation of OCGA 42-5-14 and 42-5-17. That is a Georgia law, not a policy. You all need to record and exit from beyond the guard line. Is this a public parking lot? This is not a parking lot. This is not a public parking lot. Okay, where do I need to come to visit an inmate? to have permission to be here. So, so where is... Take my keys. Arrest me. In addition to... We can call the wall. Call the police and arrest me. Call the police and arrest me. Call the police and arrest me. I 
Okay, here here it comes, everybody. There's the employee parking lot back there. Right. So that's where we can't go. Right. Because there's a sign out there that says employee parking only. Right. So this here is public. Right. And Mr. Ford doesn't understand that he is a, uh, a public employee. A public employee and he receives the taxpayers' money and the people pay taxes. Hey, CEO, you've heard the man. He wants to be arrested. You've given him a warning. But he is not going to obey the law. So, you heard him. Arrest him. 7920. Now, let's see the other unit Thank number. You, right, and that one is 7418. Is it Corporal, Corporal Rich, and what's your name, sir? What is it? Love. Love, L O V E. Thank you. You can't make up law. You cannot make up laws. Maybe you should spend some time doing your research on some laws instead of acting like they don't exist. Maybe you'll be better off for it, and maybe you'll spend less time in handcuffs. But then again, that's too much to ask out of brain-dead frauditors such as yourself. We gotta break a law. And what's the law? Okay, so you're, so you're turning a First Amendment activity into a crime. Who told you that you could just walk onto a prison and start filming. That is a high security area not open to the public. And there are good reasons for it because that's where we keep people who don't fit in society, who can't follow the laws or follow hu simple human decency. I guarantee you that's not found in the First Amendment, you bloody moron. Sure. Calling and loitering, okay? It's when you're in a place, in a time, or a manner, which is not normal under normal circumstances. The time is fine. It's daylight, they have people that come in and out, that's fine. The manner, not so much. You're outside of a prison. In a, public, in a public parking lot. Not public. Set aside. No, it's, it's a illegal. public parking lot. So, so if I don't leave, what's... Hold on. So, part of the spelling my alarm that you're calling the loitering is identifying yourself. Not identifying yourself as my alarm because we want cause that you have to so you identify yourself and then we can explain to me why you are here. Alright? Not doing so will constitute obstruction. Alright? And then you will be arrested. Okay. Which I don't want to do. Okay, so so let me let me ask the all important so, question. So if I don't leave right now, what's gonna happen? Well right now you have to identify yourself. So if I don't identify myself, what's going to happen? For okay, so you're going to arrest me for obstruction. I don't want to, but if you don't identify, because I'm yeah, giving you the opportunity, I'm giving you the opportunity to dispel your alarm, or dispel my alarm. So what, but, so you're turning a constitutionally protected activity into a crime. That's what you're saying. No, you moron. You're the one who's turning this into a crime by not identifying yourself upon a legal request to do so, considering that you're on restricted property so dumbass this is all on you as far as loitering you might want to can i speak to a supervisor can you put can you put two cuffs on me please i got a bad shoulder i prefer to put no cuffs on you I, we're, we're, right now, we are engaged in constitutionally protected activity, and I'm going to put you on notice right now. When this goes to court, we'll have your qualified immunity taken, okay. and then I'm going to come after you personally. I'm just going to let you know that right off the bat. Officer Love? Oh, sir. I'm in a public parking lot. Exercise of my constitutionally protected activity. I'm not identified. If you want to arrest me, arrest me. In a time and a manner. I told you. In a time and a manner. We'll figure out who I am at the jail. When you, when you formally charge me, when you formally charge me, I'll tell you all my information down at the jail. But make sure, you got a corporal right here, make sure you know what you're doing. Right you better here. make sure. Okay. Okay. I hope you do. Let's ride. Let's, I don't. Okay. Okay.
I haven't committed a crime. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Part of, part of it. What's your reasonable, articulable suspicion that I've committed a crime? That you are here and that is not normal. So the First Amendment is not normal? No. Oh. Have, have you, have you, can, can I ask you something, sir? Have you seen corporate, uh, corporate rich? Can I talk to you? Have y'all heard of uh, a, a little case law called Smith v. Cumming? Yeah, I've read it, but you don't seem to understand it. In fact, he was explaining it earlier to you to a reasonable time, place, and manner. And this place is a high security area, so it is not a reasonable place to film law enforcement officers. Get that through your thick skull. So, Smith v. Cumming, that's our reason. So, right there, we are not loitering. We are recording government officials in their official capacity. No, apparently to you it's not. On a public park, a parking lot. That's a private. This is owned by the state, sir. That is, makes it public. That makes it public. So you might want to... I'm just telling you right now, we literally could have... This is a public parking lot, sir. So you're making a, you're going to make a very big mistake if, if you do something, so... Your argument does not hold water. Paris Island, the, the East Coast Recruitment Depot for the United States Marine Corps is owned by the federal government. But are you going to be able to walk onto the base unchallenged as a civilian who is A, not employed there, or B, has no family there without being challenged by the guards and most likely arrested for not identifying yourself. I mean, get real. One hour later. What crime have I committed? Once again, probably in order. Okay, for gathering news content. You don't need to. It's America. It's America. United States of America. I don't need to. We're not in Nazi Germany. What are you, a freaking brown shirt now? Give me your ID. Listen to what you're saying. You want us to sit there and give us your our ID? That right? You want us to give your uh, me your? You want me to identify because you uh, basically I hurt these guys' feelings with a camera. You're suspicious and you're trying to sit there and turn this into a crime. That's despicable, sir. That is absolutely despicable. That really is. That's disgusting. And I'm hoping that that these that the people that are watching will peacefully redress their government. You're making your, your, your department look really, really bad right now. Really horrible. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. And you said the supervisor's on the way. Okay, that's fine. I've got plenty of battery. One hour later. M-O-O-R-E? Okay, thank you. Which is against the law for y'all to be here. What law? The corrections officer stated earlier what the laws were, but you just dismissed them out of hand as non-existent. Well, you're about to find out how real they are. All right, it's, it's against the law because at this point I'm going to place you under arrest. Okay. All right. All right, y'all. Uh, looks like we—he's gonna be arresting. See, we'll see what happens. Which vehicle? Okay. Put it down. Put it down. Oh, y'all arresting her too? Yeah. I did, he told me I was detained. <laughs> I couldn't leave. <laughs> I couldn't leave. He told me I was detained. So, I mean, how am I going to
You too look absolutely spectacular in those matching set of bracelets. Now, I'm sure Jayton Press is going to eventually ask you for a matching set of wedding rings. Yeah, Russell, you should settle down with this one. I mean, you two would be perfect together. Get some nice matching mug shots together. I mean, that would be a beautiful wedding gift to your new bride.